Rock Girl and Jeeps. Today is the day we put this under the front end of my Grand Cherokee. We were hoping to do a full mock-up by the end of tonight and uh, I couldn't be happier. We went to the Salt Lake Off-Road Expo yesterday and that was a huge kick in the ass. Uh, everyone's talking about EJS and getting things ready and we got things to get ready. So we are making some serious progress. I'm happy to say that my race lines actually sold today, which means I'm gonna try and order some new beadlocks this week. I'm not gonna say what they're gonna be yet, but uh, we got some new stuff coming. We've already got the 39s. We're just gonna do a bunch of welding today. I mean, we've already kind of punched in on getting the coil buckets fully seated in there, starting to weld all that. Then we've got all of this perimeter welding on the truss to do. We're gonna set up our upper control arm brackets. I'm just gonna spend a lot of time under the hood and and get this thing where it needs to be. We brought a, um, a coil spring in so we can take this and use it for mock-up. Go in there. So that's exactly how that's gonna sit. So we are, we are looking great there. We used it for both of them. It's just a nice easy tool to verify that everything's gonna line up. Um, we've got the end of our track bar from Iron Man 4x4 Fab. We're just gonna use this for spacing. Andy's actually making us a new one of these for the over the axle setup. So that'll sit right here. And uh, then we've just got a simple little shock spacer and washer on there. We're just gonna use that right here. That'll set our shock uh, separation. Actually go ahead and show you guys, I need to, to punch it in there anyway. So all we're gonna do, put the bolt in, Put our washer in, put this in, get this popped in from the bottom. It's, it's kind of weird doing it from this side, but we can make it happen. I'm also like trying not to touch stuff because I've been welding and some of this is super, super hot. Um, so. That right there is exactly how that'll work. That'll set our spacing. We'll put the nut in from behind and uh, we're good to go. So we'll get that set up when the time is right. Um, I'll flip it upside down and then uh, do our welding there. We'll bust out the torches and the thermometer and uh, we'll heat the cast section um, and then we'll weld all that. But I'm excited to say that we are really, really close to rolling this out the door under the Jeep, next stop, gears, lockers, and uh, the front diff cover, and we're gonna hit some trails. So, I'm gonna get to work. Quite a bit of welding, moving around, trying to disperse our heat. Um, we've got the coil buckets pretty much there. I'm gonna finish welding those up because if not, it'll bug Dylan for forever. Half of me just wants to leave them how they are, just to bug him for forever. But I'll be nice this time. I already tortured him with a diff cover on the last axles that I refused to paint. So we'll weld these all up. We're gonna weld the tops here, really lock that stuff in. We've got a little more to do all across the axle. Um, we'll set these in. We use our magnet to hold them. We're gonna have our uppers in. Uh, I've got a little bit more welding to do inside of these uh, coil buckets. Then we'll set our shock spacing. Once our shock spacing's set, we'll burn those brackets in on the insides. We are getting really, really close to putting some heat on this pumpkin here and getting it nice and hot so we can, uh, we can weld to that cast. Once that's done, I mean, that's, that's my last step, so. We're really, really close to having a, a fully functional, in terms of a truss and suspension mount points axle. Um, I'd say we'll be done with this tonight and uh, we'll let this cool overnight and then we'll roll this into the garage tomorrow and start mocking that up and seeing what it looks like. We are um, we're nearing some of the really cool points with this build and I, I couldn't be more excited. So that said, I'm gonna get to welding in.
nice and easy, super quick. We went ahead and welded these. Oh, look at that one, there was some weird going on there. Got it fixed though, it was just a little clogging in the nozzle. Um, so we went ahead and welded all of these. We went ahead and, and ground it all down. Um, just at the top of the truss is nice. We didn't need any welds sitting up top there, uh, especially since we need these brackets to sit nice and flush. So that's exactly how they'll sit. We'll weld those in and uh, we're good to go. So we'll probably do one of them and get a really good pass on the inside because getting our welder in here is going to be very difficult to get the insides so we'll probably do one of them as a double pass and get both sides and then set the other one in and you know try and do what we can to get as good a weld as possible so we'll uh we'll see what that looks like here in a second we'll keep you updated and i'm gonna get back to welding somewhere we've got our axle brackets going on look at this weld over here it actually I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of that one there's there's definitely been some progression on the axle like you can see some just some dialing in like how well that looks where it sat nice and flat and where this one didn't so I'll probably run a second pass on that right there we're actually the, the tubes are cooling off a little bit now um, but we're pretty close we've got one mount up top done I'm getting ready to weld the other one then we'll have both of our upper control arm mounts. And then all we really have to do is put our secondary piece in there for the shock. And then we'll do our lower control arm mounts, some cast welding, and she's ready to go under. Um, side note, anybody that you know has like welding gloves, maybe you know for bigger hands, hit us up. That'd be really cool, because you know these aren't doing so hot. But uh, Throw it down there in the comments if we should do a PO box. Yeah, she, like, send us stuff that doesn't suck. You know, we're busy spending all our money on this crap, not these things and that thing. So, shout out to Miller. That thing is burning amazing now. I am very, very happy with it. All of the uh, inconsistent welds are, they're me. So, we're, we're getting somewhere. I'm very happy with how this is turning out. I think tomorrow, the front end should be under its own weight. So I've been just kind of under the hood for quite a bit. We've got our upper control arm mounts on. I was even nice to Dylan and finished welded the rest of the tops of those. Um, so now we're at kind of a little fun part here. We've got our track bar. I, uh, I pulled the one off the Jeep again. This is not the, the bar we'll be using, but it is the same diameter and the same pushing size. So what this does is this jigs in here just like that. And that is essentially exactly what that'll look like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set down the camera, we're gonna tack weld this outer piece, remove the bolt, pull the inner piece out, weld all of this perimeter and everything on the inside of this onto the axle, and then we'll put this piece back in and weld that in as well. All right, I'm gonna throw a tack. Uh, so now we've got this completely tacked in place. What we'll do is undo that. We want to mock it up with all the pieces together and then we can kind of pull it apart. Get that out of there and get this pulled out. If it'll come out. I think it would. There it goes. It just jigs in a little bit there but we'll burn all the back side of this. We'll make it fit really nice, and uh, then we're gonna burn her home. Tap that back in there when we're done, but nice and easy. Time to get to welding. All right, track bar's on. Well, track bar mount's on. So I'm gonna do a little bit more welding right here just to finalize that, but we just used our track bar as a spacer, had it in there for the tack welds, put it in there. Uh, it's nice and easy, welded the back side, welded the front side. We're welding everything we can get to, um, but we're just being careful to move around again. We don't want to warp the axle. 
So we're uh, we're pretty close to doing our shock tabs, and once we do those shock tabs, we'll do the LCA mounts, and then all that's left after that is putting some torches on the pumpkin and welding some final beads and letting her sit overnight. So I'm pretty excited. I think we're uh, we're getting there. I'm uh, I'm really confident now that this will go under the Jeep tomorrow. Just for clarification, it won't stay there. We still have to do the gears, the lockers, steering, a whole bunch of other stuff. But we're gonna test fit it, we're gonna see how it looks. Um, and then who knows, maybe we'll try and wrap up the uh, rear axle tomorrow and make it a full roller for a minute and just see what we think. But uh, lots of things going on. We'll, uh, we'll make those decisions when we get there. But for now, I'm gonna get back to it. control arm brackets last brackets of the night so I'm simply using a washer our tech calls for 1 16th of an inch I'm not that specific we're just gonna use a washer and we're gonna set it right in here between that and that's gonna set our distance so now I'm just gonna tack weld this pull the washer out get it burned home There's our washer. Now we'll just burn it in. Holy hell, we did it. Um, what was it? Probably, what time did we start? Like four, four-ish? 4.30, yeah. It's 10 o'clock. We had dinner, so I'd probably call it five hours of welding behind the helmet to get this thing done. Um, not every weld is perfect, but I'm also not a professional welder. Um, but I'm very, very happy with my growth in welding while doing this project. Um, I'm very, very happy with my welder and the way it ran. Um, we used the torch and a propane torch and heated the cast, welded all of the cast on this. Um, the axle's still super hot. I just unwrapped it from the blanket just to film this last bit, and we're gonna wrap it right back up. But, uh, man, what a night. We have a 100% ready to bolt in axle. All we need to do is put our gears and locker in it, and they're right there. Yukon zips, revolution gears. I cannot wait to put this axle together and tell you everything else that we have planned for this. We're gonna do some really cool stuff for the steering and the knuckles, and. It's gonna be really rad, but I'm not gonna tell you just yet. Maybe I'll tell you next video. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share it. Get everybody you know to subscribe. Maybe we'll do some even cooler stuff in the future. We'll see you next time.